Hello, I've been getting a number of emails about the Keynesian multiplier and particularly how to calculate uh, various elements of uh, not just the Keynesian multiplier but uh, the levels of national income or indeed the changes in consumption resulting from a change in autonomous spending. And this is a typical question that's been sent to me and I thought the best way of addressing it was just to quickly go through it with you. Um, so we've got in a closed economy with no government savings is equal to minus 100, S is savings is equal to minus 100 plus 0.2Y where Y is national income. So if investment increases by 100, what is the increase in consumption? So the thing you need to know here is, well you need to know the national income identity, that national output is made up of, uh, is equal to uh, planned spending so that the circular flow of income will balance out eventually. So here, national income, or national output, Y, is equal to element of planned spending, consumption, plus investment. There is no government, so we don't have to add G, and there is n it's a closed economy, so we don't have to add net exports. Now, we don't know the initial levels of um, we don't know the initial levels of national income, we don't know the initial levels of consumption, don't know the initial levels of investment. What we really need to know is, you know, what will happen to national income, what's the change in national income and what will be the change in consumption more importantly when we've got a change in investment. So that's what we're going to end up doing, we're looking at that. So we need to look from clues for the question and an important clue is given to us by the savings function in particular this particular number here 0.2y which is the marginal propensity to save and that helps us to calculate the, the value of the multiplier. The multiplier it, which we'll call k is just simply 1 over the marginal propensity to save. Remember the marginal propensity to save is out of extra, an extra pound um, you, what do you do with that extra pound? Well, you could spend 80 pence in the pound, and then your marginal pence you consume would be 0 0.8, and you'd save the other 20 pence, that is the marginal pence to save, would be 0 0.2, which is what we've got here. So out of every extra pound, we are saving 20 pence according to the savings function up here. So the multiplier, which is what will happen, what will be the uh, level of national income, that is generated once we increase the level of, um, of a, 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 the amount of an autonomous in, uh, expenditure amount. So if in this case we're going to increase investment by 100. So the multiplier here is equal to 1 over 0 0.2 is equal to 5. So when we want to look at what happens to national income when we change that level of investment we just say, right, the change in national income is equal to the change in the autonomous spending, in this case investment, multiplied by the multiplier. So it's equal to 100, we've just been told that investment increases by 100, and we know that the multiplier is 5, so the change in Y is equal to 500. So let's go back to our equation, let's go back up here. We, we were interested in saying what's we know, that the we know that this is 500 and we know that this is 100. So what's happened is that the, the multiplier has helped us generate another 400 um, pounds or whatever it may be of consumption spending. So the answer to your question is 400D. I hope that helps.